Arsenal 1, Atletico Madrid 1. It was supposed to be Arsene Wenger's night. You know, the scene was set, a European semi-final under the lights and our first in nine years. The supporters came out in their numbers following the announcement that the boss would be leaving in the summer. And at least temporarily, things seemed noticeably more harmonious. The club provided each supporter with a red or silver flag, depending on which block you were seated in, in an attempt to enhance the atmosphere. And it must be said, the place looked awesome as the teams made their way out onto the field. Things started positively and the Gunners couldn't believe their luck when Simi Rusalko was shown a second yellow card just eight minutes after picking up his first. Atletico Madrid were down to 10 men and Diego Simeone's reaction to the decision saw him stent to the stands. Jermaine Burgos, his militant assistant, was fortunate not to be dismissed himself considering he was found almost 10 yards inside the touchline during his protests. Jan Oblak was in impressive form. The Slovenian goalkeeper pulled off a host of impressive saves and further enhanced his growing reputation as one of Europe's finest stoppers. Eventually, the deadlock was broken when Alexander Lacazette hung in the air for what seemed an age before diverting Jack Wilshere's cross downwards and into the right-hand corner. Arsene Wenger's side continued to dictate the play but only managed to carve out a handful of clear chances in the second half. With every passing minute, Atletico's defence took another step deeper and their fullbacks took another step inside, creating a deep and narrow block that seemed virtually impossible to penetrate. Down to 10 men, away from home and confident of overcoming a one-goal deficit in Madrid, Simeone's men reached for the continental textbook of time-wasting. Every free kick seemed to take an age. Throw-ins would be taken five or ten yards further forward and the home crowd began to grow frustrated. With just over 80 minutes played, I would have said that was Arsenal's best performance of the season. Yes, Atletico were down to 10 men from very early on and, and that would have proved a handicap. However, I'm not sure Rosalco's dismissal altered their game plan all that much. Despite looking defensively sound for the most part, a Lauren Koscielny error gifted Antoine Griezmann with a glorious opportunity eight minutes from time. The Gunners captain, in his attempt to hook the ball back over his shoulder and out of danger, seemed to kick it into his face and the ricochet fell kindly for his compatriot. David Ospina was able to block the striker's initial effort but couldn't have done much about the second. Add to that the fact Shkodran Mustafi slipped, having managed to get himself back on the line and this was a real sickener. Atletico had their precious away goal. It was a real smash and grab and the La Liga outfit now have the advantage going into the second leg next Thursday. Now I want to talk a little bit about Arsene Wenger because he's coming for some harsh criticism following this disappointing result. But in my view, he's not to blame for what occurred on the 82nd minute. I thought his team was set up correctly, dominated the game, having 20 attempts at goal and over 70% of the possession. The Gunners simply weren't clinical enough and ultimately an individual error from one of their most experienced campaigners has cost them dearly. Atletico made all three of sub the substitutions available to them, whereas Arsenal didn't make a single change. However, the Gunners were in full control, and in all honesty, there wasn't much in terms of attacking talent to call upon, with just Alex Iwobi and Eddie Nketiah on the bench. Those who've criticised the Arsenal boss for failing to make a substitution, in my opinion, are being overly critical, and those mutterings have generally come from his biggest critics. Any excuse to have a pop, I guess. Now, Diego Simeone was dismissed and sent to the stands, but the animated Argentine could have been watching from Timbuktu and his players still would have carried out his instructions perfectly. That's how well his team had drilled. The introduction of Gabby in the second half allowed Atletico to grab a foothold in the middle of the park, having been overrun in that area for long periods of the game. Um, such was the defensive solidity shown by the Spanish side. It's easy to forget they were down to 10 men so early on. And for the most part, Thomas Partey filled in excellently at right back. Now he's a midfielder by trade and the Ghanaian found things difficult, particularly in the second half when Arsenal began probing with more frequency on that left-hand side. But Simeone, to his credit, albeit after they had already conceded, identified it as a problem and brought on former Manchester City defender Stefan Savic, a natural defender to sturdy things up. I guess my final thoughts are, you know, despite the disappointment and the advantage Atletico gained, having scored that crucial away goal, this tie is far from over. Arsenal are just as threatening in an attacking capacity, but it's clear we aren't anywhere near as streetwise. To blame Wenger, 
seems harsh, but the frustration on show is a consequence of poor defending for as long as one can remember, and therefore it's totally understandable. I'm not angry. I'm not surprised. I'm just very, very disappointed. We're Arsenal, I guess, and we were never going to do things the easy way. Come on, you gunners.